Hey guys, welcome to the fourth installment of Creative Alternative, a vlog about exploring the creative side of video games. I'm Mateyan, but you can call me Retro, and today I want to tell you how one game changed my life. Yes, the game is The Sims, and I've just lost my male viewers, but you're missing out, guys, because this is one hell of an inspiring game. Back in the days, my college job was that of a game reviewer, and as a fan of all things Maxis, I got privileged to review the successor to Will Wright's People Simulation game. And The Sims 2 was amazing and acted as a perfect RPG for me to let my imagination live out how my life would, you know, turn out. Wife, kids, helicopter, house, sex, more sex, more women, even more women, and even more sex in a car. I mean, woohoo! One day an important realization dawned on me. While I was imagining this great life of mine in The Sims, in reality my life of a game reviewer was becoming more like clicking on the computer or the console all the time, you know, play games, play games, play games. And if I would recreate my real life in The Sims, it would be one of the most boring gameplay experiences ever. It was time to change and as ironic as it sounds, playing a game taught me to stop playing games altogether. So I started fresh, I changed my job, my long time girlfriend and I broke up and I moved to a new place. It was just like starting up a new game in The Sims. But this time it was real and I started living out my life the way I imagined it in the game. And The Sims is great for giving you ideas what to do in life. Learn how to play a guitar, write a book, go to a party and don't be shy talking to women. Dance, play chess, do sports, get a car and hang out with your friends, even explore beard styles. And at the end of the day, when all the rest is done, even play computer games again. Possibly those that further fuel your creativity and imagination. 